Hello friends, this is Anand Pai from Academy in Pursuit of Engineering Excellence. Today we will continue with problems on students recommendation. Uh, today we will see question number 15 uh, from GATE 2013. This is recommended by Sajid. Let us do this question. Okay. The question is something like this. 1 kg of air in an insulated rigid tank of volume 1 meter cube is churned with a frictionless fan, see figure below, of 600 watt capacity for 10 minutes. The fan efficiency is 100%. Treating air as an ideal gas and neglecting kinetic and potential energy changes. What is the increase of pressure to the nearest kilo pascal? Let us do this problem. So first of all, uh, what is the amount of work done? Now, here it is a rigid insulated cylinder. So the work is done on the system, the gas here. So what is the work done? Work done is given as 600 watts into 10 minutes into 60 seconds right so so many we will get 360 kilo joules is the work done now whether the work done is positive or negative since the work done is on the system it is negative okay now let us see about the first law of thermodynamics in the first law of thermodynamics we get q minus w is the change in the internal energy so w here q is zero because there is no heat transfer across the boundary so zero minus minus of 360 is the change in the internal energy delta u correct so now delta u is equal to 360 kilojoules what does that mean what is delta u delta u can be written as cv into delta t and this is equal to 360 kilojoules. But what is CV? CV is not given in the question. But at the beginning of the uh, question paper, they have given us what is the value of R is given as 8.314 kilojoules per kilo mole Kelvin. This is what is given there. Then uh, molecular weight of air is given. Molecular weight of air is given as 29 then what they have given is they have given the ratio of specific heat that is gamma they have given it as 1.4 so all these things are given from this we can uh, find out cv how before that we will find out the characteristic gas constant characteristic gas constant is 8.314 kilojoules divided by molecular weight of air this gives us point uh, point 286 what I got is 2866 kilojoules per kg Kelvin kilojoules per kilo mole Kelvin and divided by so many kg uh, kg per mole so uh, so many uh, yeah kg per mole this is there kg per kilo mole and like that we get kilo mole gets cancelled and uh, we get this okay so that is there so from this we can find out CV what is CV CV can be given as R characteristic gas constant divided by gamma minus 1 and that would be equal to uh, R is uh, 0 0.2866 divided by gamma is 1.4 minus 1 and the answer what I am getting is 0 0.71665 kilojoules per kg Kelvin. Okay. Now from this I can get delta T. So we know delta T is equal to 360 kilojoules by CP, CV. CV is given as 0 0.71665, correct? So many kilojoules per kg Kelvin. From this, we can get what is the delta T because it is 1 kg which is used. So from this, I got delta T as 502.33 is the delta T I have got, okay? From this from this what I can do is uh, after I get 502.33 as the this one I have to see what is the pressure rise initially P1 is equal to I can use the uh, equation of state which is RT RT1 by V okay specific volume here does not change and P2 remain P2 becomes R R is characteristic gas constant R into T2 divided by specific volume correct so now if i say p2 minus p1 this would be 
R by V into T2 minus T1. Now this R by V into T2 by T1 we will substitute. R is uh, say 0 0.286, 0 0.2866 into 10 power 3 divided by specific volume is 1. What is the change? 502 point. Uh, 502.33 is the change and P2 minus P1 I will get it as 143.666 kilo Pascal. This would be the answer. Okay, So the answer here would be 143.66. 143.66. One of the not so easy, moderately difficult question but not very difficult question. Okay, So all the best students for your exams and uh, do well. Okay, and click, uh, kindly click the bell icon, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.